Now I will explain about uh, full adder. Full adder uh, will add three bits. So it takes uh, three bits x y z and generates carry and sum. Now I will write the truth table of uh, full adder. The first combination is a uh, three zeros. The sum of three zeros is zero. So sum is zero. There is no carry. Next combination is zero zero one. The sum of uh, zero zero one is one. Once again, there is no carry. Next combination is zero one zero. Once again, the sum is one. There is no carry. Next combination is zero one one. First, think them in uh, decimal manner. One plus one is two. Now convert into binary. The binary equivalent of two is one zero. So the first bit is carry. The next one is sum. So one zero. Sum of uh, one zero zero is one. There is no carry. One zero one. In decimal manner, the sum is to convert into binary. One zero is a binary representation of two. So carry is one, sum is zero. Next combination is a one one zero. Sum is to one plus one two, convert into binary. So carry is one, sum is zero. Next combination is uh, three ones. Sum of three ones is three. Convert into binary one one. So carry is one. Sum is one. That's about uh, the truth table. Now I will write the expressions of sum and carry. If we write the decimal numbers for these uh, combinations. They are like this, zero to seven, and uh, we know that always a function is sum of min terms or product of max terms. Here I am writing uh, min terms, so sigma of min terms one, two, four, seven. If we observe, sum is one for the combination one. It is one for the combination two. It is a uh, one for the combination four. It is one for the combination seven. So sum output is one for four combinations. One, two, four, seven. So sigma of one, two, four, seven. This smaller meaning is min terms. It is one uh, standard uh, uh, min term representation. Sigma of uh, one, two, four, seven is always XR operation. You should remember this one. Is XR of x y z. It's not possible to minimize these min terms. If you observe, uh, if you place the numbers in the K map, it will be like this. It's not possible to minimize these uh, four min terms. It is uh, XR, XR of x y z. Remember this uh, sequence: one, two, four, seven. Sigma of uh, min terms one, two, four, seven is always XR. That's about sum. Next, I will write uh, for carry. If we observe, carry is one for the combinations uh, three, five, six, seven. So carry is sigma of uh, three, five, six, seven. We can minimize this carry. If we write the K map, it will be like this. We will get a three pairs. This is one pair. This is another pair. This is another pair. If we write the exact terms, it is a uh, x y plus x z plus y z. That's a carry expression. Sum is a uh, x r of x y z. Carry is x y plus x z plus y z. You should remember these expressions. 
sometimes in the exam uh, they will be asked directly so it's better to remember them that's about expre that's about expressions now i will draw the circuit for flad based on these uh, expressions sum is xr so take one xr gate connect x y z so sum is obtained carries a sop function sum of products first term is x y second term is x z next one is y z first generator x y x z y z and give them to a r gate we will get carry like this we can uh, implement it uh, very easily this is one way to design uh, a full ladder we will see some more techniques to design full ladder another procedure is a full ladder can be obtained from uh, two off adders and one or gate one full ladder one full ladder can be designed from two off adders and one or gate now i'll explain the design this is half adder one for this one apply x y it generates uh, sum one and carry one and uh, take one more half adder to the second half adder sum one and uh, the third variable third variable is z that is connected to half adder 2 sum 1 and z are connected to half adder 2 and uh, these two carries that is c1 and c2 are given to a r gate this s2 will be s this uh, value will be c that's a procedure another procedure to design a full ladder by using two off adders and one or gate we can prove this one very easily the proof is uh, like this whenever this circuit will generate uh, these expressions it works as a full ladder sometime back we have seen about uh, off adder in a off adder sum is uh, xr carries end in a half adder sum expression is x r carries n if you have that here uh, the expression will be x x r of x y because x y are inputs so x r carries end so here ending of x y the these are the expressions at these two points now here uh, the expression is xr of this and this sum is always xr of the inputs one input is this one this is the second input so xr of xyz finally if we have done this is generated so this is some terminal carry is always end one input is this one this is the second input and these two so this value is uh, x y and uh, this value is this one it is an or gate so this c is uh, sum of this and this so x y plus x r of x y into z now i'll simplify this one we know that uh, x r of x y is nothing but x y bar plus x bar y now multiply with z then it will be like this now minimize uh, these three terms after minimization you will get uh, x y plus x z plus y z now i will explain the minimization of this one 
we can minimize uh, these three terms by using this uh, rule this is one uh, minimization rule ab plus uh, ab bar c is always equal to ab plus ac that is one uh, minimization rule if we observe the first two terms they are in the same manner ab plus ab bar c format xy plus xy bar z so by using this rule we can write uh, xy plus xz now if we observe uh, the last two terms once again they are in this format ab plus ab bar c the meaning of this rule is one variable will be common in both terms so here a a similarly here z z here a is common here z is common one variable will be in uh, true form another one will be in complement form true form is the variable itself complement form is the complement of it b b bar if you observe x x bar b b bar x x bar and uh, one extra variable will be there in the second term so c here y in that case this uh, b bar will be removed if you observe ac the first term will come as it is here b bar will be removed so here uh, xz will come as it is in the in this term x bar will be removed so y z that's the proof if we observe this is same as uh, carry expression so this uh, circuit will work as a, a full ladder this can be designed by using uh, NAND gates and NOR gates. Now we'll give the NAND design and the NOR design of a full ladder. The NAND design is like this. Here x y is applied. Here z is applied. And uh, this value and this value are given to a NAND. This is the circuit uh, for full ladder by using two input NAND gates this terminal will work as uh, sum this term will work as carry if we observe nine nands are needed nine nands are needed to design a full ladder that's a minimum requirement that's a minimum requirement there is no li limit for uh, maximum we can use any number of gate but minimum is nine nands nine two input nands but that's a design by using uh, nands suppose if you wanted to uh, a NOS circuit just replace uh, these NANDs with NOS that's all that will work as a full ladder using NOS replace all the gates with NOS that's all so 9 NOS are needed so that's the minimum minimum uh, number of gates 9 NANDs are 9 NOS for a full ladder Sometime back I explained it. Uh, sometime back I have explained about off adder. In an off adder, you require either uh, five nands or five nors. That's about uh, full ladder. Next I will explain about uh, parallel ladder. 